Yeah, Caleb, uh, obviously, Investopedia is almost, I mean, it is a search engine for anybody really trying to learn about investing. I'm wondering what you do, right? Because as you see these, the people searching words and what type of analytics are you using and what are you seeing with those analytics, right? If somebody's typing in mean stocks, all right, this must be a, a something that's going on or you hear fear and you hear, you might see Shadi typing in, what's a bear market, what's the long, what are you doing with these analytics? Yeah, great question. And because we have a lot of people who are doing this, 23 odd million visitors a month, 3 million page views a day on, the, on order, uh, sometimes more, we're seeing what the questions are that people are asking. And, and in that you see their intention, not in a creepy way, like we're seeing what you might see in a Google trend search, but we're seeing at a very, uh, what we call a taxonomy level. So we have our taxes, our investing taxes and our trading taxes. We're seeing what people are specifically looking at. And sometimes that is as broad. And one of the more popular questions on the website, believe it or not, is what is money? I think that is people literally wondering, what is this thing we call money? I also think it's people thinking about a crypto world like what is money metaphysically? So we have that. Mm. But we also have people asking very pointed questions like, how do I start investing with $10,000 or Roth IRA or 401k or TD Ameritrade or, or uh, Robinhood, which broker's better? Or how do I buy uh, swaps? Or how do I buy warrants? Or what's a SPAC? So when you get all of that, you know where the interest is, but you also know what people are sort of fearing or what they're optimistic about. So when people are searching, what is volatility? What is the VIX? What is a bear market? How much could I lose? What is a, you know, when you see those fear-based terms, we've created an anxiety index, which actually peaks before the VIX index, because we see what you're searching for. Think about it. When you get scared and you want to learn something, you're like, what is a this before I do a this? We know what the what is a this part of that is, and we're seeing those spikes in fear and anxiety before they appear in the stock market, through the VIX, mm -hmm. through the options market, and into the stock market. It's fascinating, but it also makes us go, we better update that article because something big just happened. We had the reverse stock split with GE today. All of a sudden, mm -hmm. I'm looking at Google Analytics on our website, and, and reverse stock splits spike in like a rocket ship. And I'm like, what happened? I go and I find the reverse stocks, but with G, put that anecdote in the in the into the story and move on. So we have to update our content to make sure that we're not, we're not chasing the news. We're just trying to be relevant around it. And because we have so many terms, we're doing this at scale by the thousands every week. Yeah, that, that was that was my search engine on the warrant call. I hit Ian up, and we would like to study in that mm -hmm. together. <laughs>